Hey y'all, what's up? It's the Electrical Code Coach here, and this is the Electricians in Action, where we get together and we talk about the code every morning before we go out and fight the good fight. You can catch the EIA every day at 9 a.m. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm super pumped about today's video. Today we're going to be talking about aluminum wire. We're in day three or day four of our intro to aluminum wire series. I'm so excited about the series, I don't even know what day we're on. So here's the score, guys. So today we're going to talk about why aluminum wiring is dangerous on the smaller level. Remember, we're talking about 14, 12 gauge, 10 gauge wire, um, 1962 to approximately 1975, and we're talking about aluminum residential NM cable, Romex style cable. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Tomorrow we're going to talk about the fixes. I know you guys are pumped about that, um, you know, from some of the comments, but today we're going to talk about why. So there's really three main reasons why aluminum smaller branch circuit wiring is dangerous. They're kind of all related and they all end up with the same result potential arcing sparking and unfortunately fire so let's talk about the first one so the first one is is that it's brittle it's very soft i know you guys have seen in the previous video of the day you can take it bend it back and forth and snap it you could take a number piece of 12 copper and bend it until your face fell off and it's never going to break um you know by hand i mean i don't know if you could break it by hand even 12 gauge. but you've seen how i took that aluminum broke it and you know it's no problem at all so it's very weak it's very brittle easy to smush and we're going to talk about that here in a minute the other major thing that it has going against in against it is aluminum oxide it's the oxidation process right so whether it's dealing with just the oxygen or coupled with the similar metals it may potentially exacerbating the problem um, ultimately it's going to lead to so aluminum oxide is a terrible conductor so when it gets the oxide could be within a matter of minutes it starts creating the coat and then it gets worse and worse over time. And then you've seen terribly, you know, uh, oxidized aluminum where it gets really bad. So that's one of the major things which, uh, you know, ultimately leads to um, terrible connections, arcing, sparking, and unfortunately fires. And the third thing that it has going against it is that it's it, how it expands and contracts as it gets hot. So these things kind of play on each other. It's very brittle. It's very easily, you know, smushed down, even with the torque. If you've ever torqued aluminum, it's, it's, you know, it smushes a lot easier and you don't know if you get the proper torque. Then it starts to oxidize if it's not been properly, you know, compounded and properly installed. Then as it starts to oxidize, that connection breaks down. So that connection heats up. The wire expands and contracts as it heats and cools much more uh, than copper does. So all three of these things just play together to make the perfect storm for the aluminum wiring problems and that's why we stopped doing it so remember we're talking about 1962 to approximately 1975 and we're talking about residential wiring here today so let's go ahead and jump into it today so first problem right here the fact that it's brittle so you know if you've done electrical wiring in any capacity you know that it's already hard enough to deal with it without breaking it i mean you can break electrical wire i broke you know if, if you if you jam it hard enough you can snap the wire especially 14 gauge copper you can snap that wire very easily you can over twist it you can break it you can cut through it and end up snapping it now could you imagine doing a house after house of aluminum connections okay and imagine how many twists were broke right out the gate imagine how many you know of the connections were snapped um I don't know if you've ever over tightened a device and broke the copper over tightened a breaker and you can break the copper so even copper can break so imagine with that soft aluminum how many breakers the first day they were put in were right at the breaking point i mean smushed to the point where just a little bit of heat a little bit of um vibration you know uh through the usage a little bit of expansion a little bit of contraction and we've got a totally broken connection there so right off the gate the fact that it's super soft it was just, uh, you know, the odds were stacked against it. Now let's go ahead and talk about the, the elephant in the room, and that's the aluminum oxidation. So whether you love it or hate it, any oxidant paste works. I understand that they do manufacture some products nowadays that they say do not require it, but the only surefire way to coat aluminum, to stop it from oxidizing, is to use some type of antioxidant paste. The moment you strip that wire, oxygen's hitting it, you've got to have some type of antioxidant paste because what happens is the aluminum oxide starts to form. It's a terrible um, conductor of electricity. It starts to create you know, points where it's making a bad connection and the bad connection leads to overheating. The overheating leads to expanding and contracting and then so on and so forth and it leads right to the third point. So with that being said, when you're twisting copper or you're terminating to a brass screw or a steel screw and it was not properly oxidized or excuse me, the antioxidant paste was not properly applied and uh, you know, uh, possible dissimilar metals and you know they tried to correct it with the uh, copper and aluminum rated lug c-o-l-a-r and everything and i'm not saying that that is not a fix but um we're going to learn about some of the fixes tomorrow so let me not you know get too far into that and then the third thing 
you know, that we've really got to watch out for that I want to talk about today is just the fact of it contracting and expanding and contracting as it gets hot. So as the wire, um, you know, starts to oxidize, it's brittle, it can sp expands and contracts, it creates problems, it separates away from the screw of the receptacle. And switches and receptacles are probably the most dangerous thing. So we're plugging in these appliances, sometimes we're plugging in high wattage appliances, and where it gets hot from the oxide, from the, you know, potentially way over torque to under torque connections, it just continues to exacerbate the problem. And as it continues to grow, it's going to arc, it's going to spark, and it's going to potentially cause fire. So tomorrow, I'm really excited about tomorrow's video. Make sure you tune in. We're actually going to be talking about um, the fixes, how to fix it to where you, you know, I'm, you know, I'm I'd never tell somebody, you know, unless it's really bad that we have to rewire the whole house unless it's really old. And even then sometimes, you'd be surprised, some of the houses in the 40s and the 50s, you know, you get in there, you make fresh connections on the lights, the switches, the receptacles, and, and put a new panel in. You know, you might get another 30, 40 years out of that house, but there are some houses that have been very poorly cared for. But just because you have aluminum wiring inside your panel does not mean, you know, in the branch circuit style, like we've learned about the last few days, does not mean you have to absolutely rewire your home. Now, you need to have a con contact a certified and licensed electrician, have them come out, take a look at it, talk about the ins and outs. And tomorrow we're going to talk about the, cor uh, the correct way to do it in the way that I feel um is going to give you the best result as far as transitioning over from your aluminum to something that is going to give you a rock solid connection for years to come. I am the Electrical Code Coach. This is the Electricians in Action. I pray that these videos are adding value to you, and I hope that you guys have a great week. So we're almost there. We've almost made it through it, and uh, we'll pick up tomorrow with more on aluminum wiring. Let's get to it. Hey, y'all, that's it for today. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notification bell button so you can get all of our newest videos. I'm so thankful that I got to be a part of your journey today. Let's get to it.